Everyone knows that Chevy Silverado comes from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. Today, I'm going to be talking to Chief Engineer Eric Stanzak about what makes Silverado so dependable and the better truck to own. Hey, Eric. Hey, Howie. Well, I think when you talk about dependability, you have to start with what a truck's made of. And the Chevy Silverado is made of high-strength steel, right? That's right. So I got to ask, there's a new Ford F-150 out there with an aluminum body. How does that stack up against Silverado? I'm glad you asked, Howie, because there's a lot of people that have the same question. Silverado uses aluminum in a few strategic places, like the hood, for instance. But overall, we use a tried and true manufacturing process that uses high strength steel and welding. How about the Ford F-150? It's manufactured in a way that combines aluminum, rivets, and adhesive in a process that's different than Silverado. Huh, interesting. In fact is, aluminum material costs are higher than steel and it poses new challenges to repair. Plus, it requires a body shop to invest in new tools and training to handle it. Bottom line, it can cost you more in time and money to repair damage to a truck made from aluminum than one made from steel. Well, that makes perfect sense to me, but how do we take a closer look at this for someone who's choosing between these two trucks? Chevrolet hired an independent firm called AMCI Testing to find out. Okay, what kind of tests are we talking about? Recently at a test facility in California, AMCI testing took eight trucks, four Silverados and four F-150s, and they inflicted some damage on them using identical test procedures. They basically recreated what would happen when a large truck backs into the side of a vehicle, like on a job site. Oh, took a hit just like that. I'll bet. Then the damaged trucks were sent out for repair. The Silverados went to authorized Chevrolet dealers. The F-150s went to Ford dealers that are certified in aluminum repair. Then AMCI testing documented the repair costs and how much time it took to make those repairs. So what were the results? Based on the results, it cost more and took twice as long to repair the F-150. Wow, so if I'm a guy who uses my truck for work, every day I don't have that truck, that costs me money. In addition, you've got higher repair bills. I'd be interested to know what happens to insurance costs. I gotta tell you, all that certainly makes me think twice about an aluminum body truck. Seems like you'd be taking a risk. At Chevy, we rely on what's proven, like high strength steel for high strength dependability. Well, I guess that's why they don't call that superhero the man of aluminum. <laughs> I guess. Well, thanks, Eric, for answering all my questions today. Howie, it was my pleasure, thanks.